Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create intricate warrior hairstyle. This hairstyle includes lots of mini braids and intricate 5 strand braids. This is my hairstyle EXO. In this channel I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. Hopefully you will like it. First, take a small piece of hair away for the middlest braid. Then I show how to create intricate 5 strand braid on the side. First, you need to create the mini braid. So take a section of hair and start to braid normal 3 strand braid without any addings. Braid until the end of the hair so the braid will be long enough. This braid will be on the middle of the intricate 5 strand braid. Take next amount of hair. Separate the hair section in 4 sections so that 2 sections are smaller and 2 sections are the bigger ones. Then I start the braid. First, cross 2 smaller strands under the braid. Then bring the bigger strand under the smaller one and over the braid. Repeat the same to the another side, under the smaller over the braid. Then cross smaller strands again under the braid. Take again the bigger strand, bring it under the smaller and over the braid. Add some hair. Do the same on the another side, bigger strand under the smaller and over the braid. Add hair also from this side. Make sure that the mini braid will stay on the middle strand. Cross the smaller strands again under the braid. Then bring the bigger strand under the smaller and over the braid. Add hair. Repeat the same on the another side. Take a bigger strand, bring it under the smaller one, add hair, and then over the braid. For this hairstyle, you need to repeat the same braid to the both sides of the head. So keep on braiding until these braids reach together on the back of the head. And by the way, don't mind these two braids on the middle, they are just way to keep hair away from my braiding work. When your braid is on the right length, secure the smaller and bigger section from the right side with one elastic. Then secure also the left sided strands with an elastic. To create more extra volume, you can pancake this braid if you like to. I personally pancake only the bigger strands from the bottom so the chain pattern on top will stay neat and nicely and the bigger section's bottom will highlight that even more. Next, I take a hair piece I left out on the first place. Take a super small section out of it and create again mini braid. I will create similar intricate 5 strand braid in this place too. Next, I create the braid. Take all hair you left out 
and then separate it again to bigger, to smaller and the braid. Total of 5 strands. Then begin again by crossing the smaller strands under the braid. Then bring the bigger under the smaller and over the braid. From the another side also under the smaller and over the braid. Bigger strands cross over the braid. Then cross the smaller strands under the braid. Like this. And then take the bigger strand, bring it under the smaller, and then cross both bigger strands over the braid. Make sure that the braid will stay on the middle. Cross the smaller strands under the braid. And then bring the bigger strand under and over the braid. Under and over the braid. Make sure that the braid will stay on the middle. Then cross the smaller strands again under the braid. Then bring the bigger strands under the smaller and cross them over the braid. When you reach a desired length, you can pancake the braid as you like. I pancake also on this time only the bigger sections. Next, I continue at the mini braids. Release the elastic and add some hair under the bigger braid. Next, I will continue this intricate 5 storm braid, but I leave this elastic in here because it won't show up at the ending result. Separate the section in 3 pieces and start the braid. Add again some hair so the braid will be long enough. Next, I will braid these braids together. Start by taking off the elastics. Then cross these two strands over each other. The braid that comes out from the intricate 5 strand braid is the middle strand. Then add smaller sections of hair from the both sides of these three strands. Bring the smaller strand over the bigger and cross under the braid. Repeat the same to the another side, over the bigger strand and under the braid. And now you have all five strands in here. Bring the bigger strand under the smaller one and add the another section of hair from the side braid into the strand. Then bring the strand over the braid. Repeat the same on the another side. Bring the bigger strand under the smaller. Add the section of hair into the strand. And then bring them both over the braid. Cross the smaller strands under the braid. Then bring the bigger strands under the smaller ones. And then cross them over the braid. Make sure that the braid will stay on the middle. Then cross the smaller strands under the braid. Bring the bigger strand again under the smaller and over the braid. Repeat the same on the another side and cross the strands over the braid. Then bring the smaller strands again under the braid. Keep on repeating this pattern until you reach the side length of the braid.
Next, I create one extra mini braid on both sides of this braid. And here we have a total of 4 mini braids. Next, I will attach these braids into the bigger ones using these loops in the back side of the braid. So take a first braid and pull the end of the braid through the loop back side of the braid. And this way you can create this kind of shape. Do the same on the another braid. Two braids would be too short to create this kind of symmetric shape. So that's why the next shape I create won't show up outside. Braids will continue behind the braid. And then I create the loop that will show out. Like this. Then I create the missing parts with this second pair of the braids. So first loop is the one that goes behind the braid, as you can see. And then I create the visible loops. And here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again.